Hi everyone, this is Connie with Constantly Stamping. I received a great email the other day asking me if you can use pre-existing artwork with your um, My Digital Studio software. So the answer is yes. Most file formats are supported and I'll have a list of those on my blog. But um, just thought we would play around for a few minutes and I can show you how that works. And um, depending upon whether you're a new user or an advanced user, um, you will get different levels of information from this video. So um, if you're new, don't get too intimidated. It always is fun to play around a little bit and learn more. So let's get started. Now I've already opened a file. I'm going to place my basketball artwork that I already had on my computer. I'm going to place that as a photograph and you will see that when I pull that in it has a white box around it. Now that's okay I suppose if you um, are a beginner and you don't really understand a lot about digital software but I wasn't happy with that so I went into a imaging editor software program and I thought well I'll remove the background. Did that? Well it's still caused a problem. Wasn't happy at all with the results that I received. So I um, removed the background and then I saved it out as a PNG file and I was very pleased. Look, no background. So um, that's good news. However, I will show you that when you add a drop shadow to that, it doesn't just add it to the basketball it adds it to the box. So um, you get the functionality of having this area transparent around um, the basketball or your artwork but if you want to add your drop shadow um, we're going to take this a step further and I will teach you how to do that in your imaging software. Um, which is not included with my digital studio. There are several available on the market. Um, I'm going to use Photoshop Elements 3.0 which is an old 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 version. Okay I'm back and I have opened an old version of Adobe Photoshop Elements 3.0. Now I've opened my basketball JPEG image and the first thing I want to do is I'm going to select the area with my image. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to say File, New and I'm going to open a blank file. Now the important thing when you open a blank file is make sure that you open a transparent um, box. So the background contents transparent. You're going to say OK and you will notice there's like a checkerboard and that indicates that the background is transparent and then I'm just going to say edit paste and it's going to place the image onto the box and you will see that the checkerboard has disappeared. Well that's because it's filled in with this white area around. I'm just going to close out the old image so that I'll, I don't accidentally do something that I shouldn't to it. And then I'm going to choose, it's called the Magic Wand tool. It's a great little tool because it doesn't require too much um, skill to use and I'm just going to click on the white area around the basketball and then I'm just going to choose delete on my keyboard and when I do that it deletes the background and then I am left with the basketball and just the basketball so now it is a transparent image however I do need to save it now as a PNG file so I'm going to say file save as We'll go down here. I'm going to choose the PNG file format and I'm going to name it Basketball Test. And I'm going to save that. Now remember where you save it. 
so that when you go to pull it into your soft your um, my digital studio software you know where you have it so at this point I'm just going to say OK and I'm going to close out this software because I have done everything I need to do okay now I'm back in my digital studio and I'm just going to show you um, basketball test I'm going to pull that in and you will see that we have our basketball and let's see here let's just move this around and this is great because you just have the basketball you don't have that ugly white box around the basketball however like I showed you before when you um, add a drop shadow to it you get it around the entire box and not just the basketball so I wasn't happy with that either I'm sort of a perfectionist and I knew there must be a way around it so what I did was I took that same basketball test that I created as a PNG file I placed it in my digital studio um, Brad's folder so now when I go to my embellishments and pull it in as a brad see here's one that has the white box but you'll notice this one does not have a white box around it and then when I pull that in you will notice that it pulls it in transparent then when I add a shadow to it it does it for the basketball and not for the box so that is the result I was looking for and that's exciting to me now what you cannot do is you cannot create a separate folder in um, your resource software your resource palette um, so you have to place it in a folder that pre-exists so I chose my brads you could choose your buttons your bows whatever but it has to be a pre-existing folder in my digital studio to work so that's just a little trick or a, a way around a problem um, I think that that's an acceptable solution and I hope this has been helpful so if you um, have any questions please feel free to contact me and you can always purchase my digital studio um, on my um, website at conniecollins.stampinup.net and um, have a great day and we will see you soon